Hi, and welcome to Integrity Sales and Services. Hi. Today, Dave and I are going to do a nice video for you on our 2005 Volvo. Dave's going to go ahead and fire it up. We'll pop the hood for you then and let you see the engine compartment while it's running. We'll pull the dipstick tube and let you check out the blow-by. As you can hear there, he twisted her over. She comes right to life and just purrs like a kitten. All right, let's walk up close so we can see what Dave's doing for us under the hood. We're looking at a big dual overhead cam ISX coming. He's pulling the dipstick tube out. Folks, take a look at that real clean oil on there. Let's take a look at the blow-by. As you can tell at a glance there, with the engine sitting here at a hot idle, it has absolutely no blow-by. It is completely vapor-free. Dave's going to go ahead and shut the engine off so that we can hear better now during the video, and we'll continue with it now. Okay, folks, let's start right here. Focus on these real nice, shiny aluminum rims. Let's walk up close, get you a nice look at the tire tread. We're looking at about 70% tires all the way around this truck. And, folks, here's a real nice surprise. We actually have an air ride front axle here. This truck goes down the road, and I'm telling you, you have to be careful that you don't fall asleep because it rides like a rocking chair. Take a look at the front brake pads. Nice, clean oil pan under the engine. No sign of oil slobbering all over. Let's get you a nice look up here. We're looking at an ISX Cummins 475 horse factory setting. Very nice and clean across the top of the valve cover, along the side of the engine block, the cowling under the cab, everything looks really nice. Let's move on around to the passenger side and take a look at that. Okay, let's start again. Take a look at the nice, clean, shiny rims. Let's focus in on the steer tire tread again on this side. You can see it's very comparable. Again, air ride axle. Let's take a look at the front brake pads. You can see the drums and shoes are very much like new condition. Take a look underneath the radiator housing. Everything looks very nice. No rust. I'm going to zero in here and let you look at the fins. You can see on the radiator there's no deterioration of that at all. There's evidence of new AC pump and clutch. Take a look at the top of the engine again from this side, and you can see everything looks very nice and clean. And folks, the truck has not been power washed or steam clean. What you see is what you get. With that, Dave's going to pop the hood down, and we'll continue with the video around the truck. Okay, we'll start right here on this front corner. I'm going to focus in on the headlight and grill area to let you see that there's no missing pieces, no cracks, dings in the fiberglass, and no stone chips in the paint. Take a look as we move up higher. You can see the visors in place, all the mirror covers intact. Let's go ahead and move on down the side of the cab now, and you can actually see the reflection of the other trucks in the background in this shiny red paint. Full wheel-to-wheel -wheel fairings, no cracks in the fairings. Everything looks very nice and straight. I'm going to stop here a second and zoom in on the side of the cab looking forward so you can take a look at it from this angle. Take a look at the shiny rims in the back. We have aluminum on the front and aluminum around the outside of the entire truck. Let's come on to the back of the truck. I'll let you focus on the tire tread for a moment. Look at the nice clean frame, air ride cab and suspension, real nice clean back of the cab and a really good exhaust system. Tires are repeated on this side. You'll see the tread matches all the way around and let's get you a look at the brake shoes here on the back drive axles. There again, as you can see, we have recent drums and recent brake shoes. Take a look at the rear diff, not all rusted up and not all slobbered with oil and grease. And again, folks, it's not been washed. This fifth wheel is greased and has been hooked to a trailer today. Okay, take a look again. Nice, clean, shiny rims on this side. Let's focus in on the back of the cab from this angle. Let you check out the muffler system. And I'm going to zoom in on the fairings and move forward to let you see again. No damage, no cracks, and no missing pieces. Look at the cab, folks. Again, you can see the reflection of the light pole in the background. This paint just shines like brand new. Let's move on forward. We'll catch the corner of the hood here, and I'll give you an angle look back, and then Dave's going to open the door for us, and we'll continue with the video of the interior. Okay, approaching the driver's door area, I'm going to stop here a moment to let you see the very, very clean door panel. No sign of scuffs, tears, or grease marks. It's very clean. We have a nice dual control air ride seat. And here is the actual data for the truck. You can see everything right here. 
I'll move on down slow. You can see the ratios and everything listed right here on the door post. Okay, with that, folks, I'm going to hop up inside. I'm going to sit in the driver's seat. I'm going to turn the key on this truck. I'm going to let you have you an opportunity to see the oil pressure reading of this truck sitting here at an idle. And then I'm going to go ahead and rev it up and let you see it pop up. Okay, here we go. Okay, starts right up. Gauges are sweeping. It comes right up on about 50 pounds sitting here at a hot idle. I'm going to go ahead and bring a little throttle into it. You can see it come in there up over 60. She bounces between 40 and 60 is where she sets it on oil pressure. As you can see, the dash is all lit up. You can see the gauges working. There's no check engine lights or anything on. You can see the mileage reading of 685, 850, and that does match on the computer as well. With that, we'll shut the truck back off so we can hear better throughout the video. I'm going to start right here across the top of the dash and let you see it's very nice and clean. It's spotless, as a matter of fact. We have very nice glass. There's two real slight stone chips, but no cracks, no breaks. It will fully pass DOT. I'm going to focus on the side of the driver's seat here. Folks, this is a true two-pedal automatic. We do not even have a clutch. It's just like your car. You bump this shift knob forward for drive, and you pull her back for reverse, and the rest is done all automatic. So, folks, if there's someone out there that has a challenge with your legs or anything for shifting, I'm telling you, this is a one-of-a-kind truck, and you do not want to miss it. It's very nice and clean. We have one little tear where the armrest was on the passenger seat. We're going to take that out and get it professionally reupholstered. Take a look at the passenger feet area, passenger door panel, dash area on the passenger side. We have the waste basket down below. We have the dual 12 volt outlets coming across. We have the three stage Jake. We have suspension dump, air slide, fifth wheel, AM, FM, CD, air conditioning, heater controls, and diff lock. Folks, with that, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the back. I'm going to turn around and let you see the floor to ceiling cabinets on the passenger side of the bunk area. Take a look going back in here how clean this upholstery is on the back of this truck. I'm telling you, it is very, very nice and clean. Look at the nice clean mattress, although we normally encourage throwing them away, but it's not soiled, which usually is an indication of the maintenance of the truck. Nice carpet in the floor. We have nice rear heat and AC controls. All that is working, including the nice dome light. And folks, we have a refrigerator-freezer combination in this truck. Actually, I will take that back. This is the space for the refrigerator. It's not in here, but it has the removable shelf and the AC outlet in the back to plug your refrigerator in. And it does have the workstation that pulls out right here by your bed, cup holders on top, and the upper workstation as well. With that, I'm going to turn around and focus forward sitting in the bunk. I'm going to give you a nice overhead view. Here's the TV, VCR, hookups. All the actual owners and operators manuals are in this truck. Take a look at these cabinets. They're nice and clean. And I'll get you another view of the dash looking forward to let you see that all the switches, knobs, everything is in place. No broken or missing plastic parts, including the visors over the top. Those are all in working condition. All the latches work. And all the cubby holes have the restraints on them. We'll let you take a look at those. It has the full curtain closure system going across the ceiling to block out all daylight. Like folks, with that, I'm going to go ahead and work my way forward. I'm going to show you as I get out of the truck, we have a manual window on the driver's door, and we have full power window and heated mirrors and power mirrors for the passenger side. With that, I'm going to pop out, and Dave is going to close the door for us. I'll give you a nice view of the bunk area. We have the fire extinguishers, triangles, everything is in the truck to pass the DOT. Okay, that brings us back around to the front of the truck where we've started from. I'll get you a nice view looking straight forward at the front of the truck and we'll wrap up the video from this position. I want you to take a moment to focus on the nice straight body lines between the hood and the bumper, how the hood closes and sets on the truck. It's all in perfect condition. Folks, with that, we're going to wrap up the video. I want to thank you again for taking the time for shopping with Integrity Sales and Services. Give us a call if we can help you in any way. Thanks for your time.